Stotler, and I'm part of Milpitas uh, Peaceful Poets Group, and we wrote a group poem uh, called Milpitas, A Positive Note. When we first came here in 1961, there were many empty fields, for this little town was not yet done. Through the years, it grew by leaps and bounds. We saw Calaveras widen and a steady stream of urban sounds. A new city hall was built and a library too. A senior center where friendships are made anew. Milpitas, once a little unknown laughed about town, is now a busy, resourceful place where happiness can be found. While the smell in Milpitas is strong, Milpitas' people are stronger because many exotic people still live here, the birthplace of the Milpitas monster. My name is Zief Thurmich. As the sun climbs over the knolls and hills from the east and hovers over Milpitas, it awakens the people to the delights of morning's glory and casts its stage. The hum of traffic and coyotes wailing in unison on the distant landscape, all in concert with the knowledge that the little city is making its presence known. Okay. By Patricia Montoya, that would be me. I move from the harsh Midwest to a kinder clime. Warm, rolling, golden hills face San Francisco Bay. Many cultures blend, inspiring learning. Readers, poets, writers, artists, dancers, historians. The heart of a small town growing up, keeping the small town warmth and congeniality. I'm Kay Waldo. <laughs> 